right. I'm oh, focus, yeah. Let's talk about Shadow Baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the makeup looks that we can do, baby. <laughs> anyway, what's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Thicky, thicky. Hey. Oh, yes, I'm here. Seeky is here. Yeah, I know. Like this whole big like gaming chair situation. This is like all hubby's fault. Okay. I didn't. Okay. So one of the, first of all, like the whole vault collection with, um, with Jacqueline Hill and Morphe, um, hashtag winning hashtag score. I don't care how much drama goes around with them. I don't know. I just stay far from the drama. I steer clear. I just go with what works for me. Okay. And that's the real. And so this one or that palette is shadows and blushes. Those are makeup products that last the longest, right? Because you can easily sanitize them and they keep their color for a few years, like definitely longer than foundation and definitely longer than cream products and liquid products. Okay. So just keep that in your back pocket for when you need that. Now, um, most of my, my, uh, the palettes that I use for my crease color on my eyes, since we're going, it's all about the eyes today is numero uno is the makeup geek cocoa bear right here. But the thing about the cocoa bear, wait girl right there. The thing about the cocoa bear is I do believe that makeup geek has renamed it. And I think they renamed it to cheetah bear. I cannot recall, but you have to look that up on your own. Um, none of these do I like you know, I'm just going off of what I love and what I use. Now, this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I believe this was their first collaboration. And this one is called Roxanne Roxanne. This is the one that I, um, I like when I want like a burgundy tone, but we're going to go with the cocoa bear today because I am going to use a little bit of shimmer and I kind of want, um, a more brown crease, if you will. And the other crease color that I loved is from the, uh, ring the alarm with Jacqueline Hill and Morphe and it is this color right here. It is called um, Mugshot. Hey, diggy diggy. Hey, hey, come on. Anyway, Mugshot. That's one of my favorites. Okay. And then um, that's pretty much it with the crease colors that those are literally like literally we'll leave it there, but it's literally my favorite. And so I'm going to go in with the Cocoa Bear now. I am actually using a Morphe brush. This is not a video sponsored by Morphe, um, but you know, hey, if anything changes, I'll let you know. So first I'm gonna go on with this crease color. Now I'm gonna go on top of that with, um, I'm gonna go on top of that with a primer and this is gonna be the LA Girl um, High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. And then I kinda found two palettes that I wanted to use for this look that will kind of match my earrings. One of them is the Morphe and then another is the Jackie Ina. And I am going to show you a few more shadows, but I'm going to kind of talk about them as we're going so that we can do a two for a two for one special where I'm giving you an eye look and we're talking about the eyeshadow palettes. Now another eyeshadow palette that I love, which wait, cause we got to focus because see, I would say I got to fake it till I make it, you know, with this look. But the truth of the matter is, uh, we're not going to ever make it to having large, larger lids. So I'm just going to do what I do to make it look like I do. Y'all know, I tell you all the time that I am a low maintenance makeup wearer, which means I don't like to do stuff that requires a whole lot of detail. Every now and again, I will do it. But today ain't one of them days. It's just one of them days that a girl goes through. So I love Lorac. Lorac, their shadow palettes have a lot. And I'm going to try to run through and show you some of these as we go. But they have a lot of, um, what do you, like fallout. But I love their palettes nonetheless. And I'll show you one of, a couple of them real quick. I don't know if this one is still around. They have the Lorac Mega 2 and I'll show you the inside. I'm not sure if this one is still around, but I do know that Lorac is on Amazon now too, right? So I do like that one. That's not like one of my fave faves. I think that this one is the Lorac Mega. This one is, you may still be able to find these. I'm not sure, but that's a good one too. Now this one is the Lorac Pro Palette. 
I don't remember the name exactly of this one, but um, it's the brown one, right? But this one is my favorite. And when I go do makeup, I will pack this one as well because I have yet to find a navy blue that does me like this one does it. Can't nobody do me like this one. And then it has a gray as well that I will use for my gray smoky eyes. Okay. These two right here, bomb.com. It says black, but that don't really give me like black, black. So those I use for like my gray smoky or whatever. And then, um, I showed you the Morphe and the other Morphe, which I will get into in a minute is all the way dope. It's the 3502. I use it for my brow bone. You're going to see that for sheezy, for sheezy. But let's do this before like that kind of sets. So I'm going to go into this color and see how that works. This is Dwellers from the Jackie Ina palette. And one thing that I do love about this palette is that you really don't have to like use a spray or anything like that with her, um, with her, um, sh with her, what do you call them? What is the word I'm trying to say, girl? With her foiled shadows or shimmer kind of shadows. Because, okay, that's not giving me what I need. But you don't really have to use a lot. I mean, like a, um, a spray because the payoff is great. But I think I'm going to have to use something else with this. Because I'm trying to match my earrings. So I'm looking for a gold. I thought that would give me gold, but it does give me a little bit of green. Let me see. I don't know. Anyway. I am a matte girl. I am really not a shimmer type girl for the most part. And honestly, on camera, this may not, I may have to do some pictures for you to really get the gist of what I'm doing here. The other one that I like is Born to Be Wild. Just kidding. It's called Born to Run. It's um, Urban Decay. That is another great palette that you can literally, literally travel with. That's another palette, great color payoff. And then also, um, I do like the foiled shadows from Makeup Geek as well. I told you, we're just kind of throwing it in there. I like the foiled shadows from Makeup Geek. I used this one a couple days ago along with Jackie Ina. And then I'm gonna show you this one because I'm already seeing this is gonna be great. I'm saying this is going to be great and I'm probably have to show you in a picture, but now this is definitely a great eyeshadow palette to pick up. If I had to give a beginner an eyeshadow palette to grab that will give you loads of shadows that is affordable and has great color payoff, it would be the Morphe 3502. And my first one is definitely broken, right? It doesn't even stay together anymore. And I've hit pan. One of them all the way came out. Okay. A couple of them. No, 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 no. I take, yeah, two of them. Two of them came out because I was traveling with it too and I dropped it a couple of times, girl. This is the real deal. But this one, I genuinely hit pan. See, it's a little bit around there. I genuinely hit pan and was scraping it out of there. And so I had to buy a new one. Um, and they were out of stock for a minute, but they came back. And so let me show you that it's real. This is the new one that I purchased. That is the 3502. And this is she, this is her. Um, let me introduce to some and present to others my new 3502. I broke it in too, cause I had to do um, makeup for a gospel artist um, this past weekend and she got to use it first. Girl. Now, what I was going to say is if you're going for color, because I know spring and summer's coming up, if you're going for color, this James Charles palette is the truth by Morphe. It is the truth. I've already used like all of these right here and those down there and you can actually contour with some of those and definitely i've used that yellow i've used the blue i've used the purple and this palette if you want it to get like real creative it just reminds me of like a real like artiste palette like legit and so when i want to get like super you know get into like my fun looks i go for that so okay let me let me do this and then i'll be right back after that I am simply going to take my Morphe 3502 because I told y'all that I love it. And I want to deepen this up with this color called Rich. Actually, mm, I take that back. I'm not going to do Rich because Rich is not going to get me all the way deep like I want it. I think I'm going to go back to my uh, Makeup Geek palette and I'm going to use Espresso. Or it's not Espresso. It's equivalent to um, Max Espresso. But doggone it. I can't remember the name of it. Hold on. Americano. That's it. It's equivalent to Max Espresso. I think it is not Espresso, express yourself, but Espresso. Okay. So I'm going to use that just to deepen this up right here. 
just to give me a little bit of pop. I'm gonna take a small brush. The, the, girls, Morphe again, I thought this was my Makeup Geek brush. But this is Morphe, the um, 506, M506. And I'm just gonna take this and kinda outline my eye right there. But there's another one by Too Faced. I think it's called Just Peachy. I pulled it out to show you ladies and gents. Oh, girl, your girl was right. She is called Just Peachy. And this is another one that I recommend to beginners, right? Um, because you have some great, smells good too, girl. You got some great browns in there, some neutral colors. And a lot of times for beginners, the hardest thing for you guys to do is find neutral colors. So if you find a palette that has some great neutral transition colors in there, hashtag winning, okay? Plus you wanna add pops. Now this is another good one too. This is ColourPop. This is um, the color collaboration they did with Makeup Shayla and it's Perception. That one is dope too. Um, Beauty Bakery has one that's called Banana Pudding. That's dope and they're affordable you guys. So I want to get you guys started and then maybe we'll do a high-end um, look. This is the um, Universal by Morphe, the 3502 palette, my favorite. Like legit, I bought this whole palette because I needed to re-up on this color and I don't think that they sell it by itself. So yeah. The next time you see me, I'm like about to do everything else off camera. I just wanted to talk to you guys about shadows and I wanted you guys to help me get ready. But I think that's gonna go good, look. It's gonna go good, just watch. Watch me work, watch me come back. Watch me work, work, and then I'll come back. Right back. Hey, hey, match the earring, hey, hey. Y'all, we have some more studs too. So you guys have never seen that because I added it. Hey. That is it, you guys. And so we will consider this uh, 101 to like my favorite eyeshadows and the most bomb eyeshadows and the eyeshadows that I love to take with me when I do makeup, okay? So I hope this was great for you guys. If it was, comment below and let me know. Okay, what do you wanna see next? Do you wanna see concealers? Because I definitely have concealers that um, I've kind of eyeliners, top lashes, top um, concealers. You guys let me know what you want to see. All right. But that is it. I am very pleased. It is totally matching. I can dig it. Maybe I should have done black so it can match a little more, but it totally matches and I could dig it. I could dig it. You guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do, if you have not joined the fam bam, please do not forget to join the fam bam because I would love, 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 love to have you. All right. Bye. Me, confidence is key. You know what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.